In this video, we'd like to introduce you to some Bibles for America resources that can help you share the gospel of Jesus Christ. In a previous video titled, Why We Need to Preach the Gospel, we discussed our responsibility as believers to proclaim the good news. But now you may be wondering, how exactly do I go about preaching the gospel? What do I do first? Well, the first step in preaching the gospel is to pray. We shouldn't trust in what we can do on our own, but trust in the Lord to work on people's hearts to bring them to repentance and salvation. So we should pray for our relatives, friends, colleagues, neighbors, and anyone else the Lord puts on our heart. Actually, it's helpful to make a list of people we know who aren't saved yet so we can pray regularly for them. And our prayers don't have to be long or complicated. We can simply ask the Lord, Lord, what about my cousin? I remind you that he's not saved yet. Lord Jesus, save him. Once we have the desire to speak about the Lord Jesus to someone, we realize we need to have something to say. This is why it's necessary for us to read the Bible and be filled with the Word of God so that we can readily share the good news with others. In addition, Bibles for America has developed a number of gospel materials, including tracts, blog posts, videos, and a podcast episode. They can all be easily shared through Facebook, Twitter, text, and email. You can find these resources by visiting gospel.bfa.org. First, let's talk about gospel tracts. Bibles for America has over 10 tracts, and each one presents the gospel of Jesus Christ from a different angle. We recommend reading through them to get to know the content of each one. Then you can choose which tract to send people as you pray and consider their specific situation. For instance, let's say you know someone who is troubled by the lack of peace in the world today. The tract, No Longer Enemies, explains how mankind cannot have peace while being enemies with God, and that we can be reconciled to Him only by believing in Jesus Christ. Or maybe you have a friend who's interested in philosophy. The tract, Foolishness or the Power of God, points out the utter failure of philosophy to explain human nature and the purpose of man's existence. The truth is that mankind is under the power of sin. But through Jesus' death on the cross, sinners can be forgiven and obtain the life of God. After you share a tract with someone, you can talk it over with them and take the opportunity to speak something more about the Lord. Now let's talk about our gospel videos. For many people, seeing and hearing about something can be more impactful than reading about it on their own. Sharing videos has become so commonplace, so this might be a good way to reach someone you know with the gospel. We'll be launching a gospel video campaign on our YouTube channel starting December 28th. We'll be posting a video every week until early February. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss them. While the tracks are short presentations of the gospel, the blog posts are longer and more in depth. You can share them with someone who might want to read more. For instance, the post, Why Did Jesus Have to Die on the Cross?, can answer questions people might have about who Jesus really is and what his death on the cross means. And if you have friends who like to listen to podcasts, you can send them the BFA podcast episode called The Big Question, What's the Meaning of Life? People are seeking the answer to this question you can help them find it by sending them the link to this podcast episode. We at Bibles for America believe, now more than ever, the gospel of our dear Savior Jesus Christ must go forth. Whether we've been newly saved or saved for a long time, we can all pray for someone, and we can all spread the good news of God's love and salvation. And when we preach the gospel, no matter how people may react, we should be encouraged by Isaiah 55, 10, and 11. For just as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and does not return there until it waters the earth and makes it bear and sprout forth, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so will my word be which goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me vainly, but it will accomplish what I delight in, and it will prosper in the matter to which I have sent it. God's Word assures us that praying and sharing the gospel with people is never in vain. The words we speak are sown into their heart and will operate in them. 
So let's all rise up to pray and preach the gospel, putting our trust in the continual work of our Savior God, who desires all men to be saved.